I don't know how to make intros. <laughs> La Lacusha, Joyland, Volk, Mian Mira, Huponia. Those were the five kingdoms in Lunatia. If you remember, there were only four that were available at first, but it didn't quite seem that way. You had a lot of access to many different places. Little nodes, every step along the way on the map. Everywhere had multiple levels. And they guided you through the story bit by bit. Klonoa is a dream traveler. I probably should have said this at first. I don't know what he is. Uh, I think the community has dubbed him a cabot. Cat and a rabbit. Cabot. But to me, he's a childhood friend. That comes first. When I was really young, I had problems with dreams. And I still do to a big degree. But that's okay. Lanoa helped with my imagination. I like the thing. He helped create avenues where there was nothing. Pathways through the mind. Inspiration. Creativity. And I think he came at a perfect time in my youth. I saw a lot of people in my life. They were inspired by many different things. And I wanted to be inspired as well. Mario. Sonic. Pokemon. Digimon. These things helped me. But Klonoa helped me in a different way. While in my room, I had these stickers on my ceiling. They were glow-in-the-dark stickers. They kept in the light from the day, and they would glow at night. I'm sure you guys remember them. They were a very simple thing, but I really enjoyed them. They comforted me when nothing else really could. At least at night. Because remember, when you're a kid, you, you got in bed in time. And my parents really wanted me to grow up fast. So a lot of the things that I held on to as a child, they tended to just throw away. It was a big problem. But I wouldn't let that get me down. I would try thinking of things as I laid there. To the best of my ability, I was able to conjure up small little imaginary friends here and there but it didn't really get too far until i started contemplating what it meant to be a dream travel well what it means to be a dream traveler i understand that lunatia's veil vale is not the first game in klonoa's uh, catalog of games but i actually didn't get to play the first game until later and oh boy, was I really missed that I missed out on that. Klonoa tackles a lot of different emotional stresses as things sort of progress. And I really don't know how many of them that I even noticed when I was a child. It seems very straightforward. Collect the elements. Save the world. but. There's so much more that people overlook when they're young. They don't understand the more complex meaning behind certain things. I'm not saying children are stupid, because... No! <laughs> but children also can be smarter than you give them credit for. They can pick up on subtleties, here and there at least. Maybe not the full picture, but at least the first strokes of the painting. I think that that's most important when it comes in terms of Klonoa. Klonoa helped me with my imagination. I know I already said that, but he also helped with my peace of mind. Whenever it came to nighttime, it wasn't Sonic or Mario that I thought of. It was Klonoa. Klonoa was a strange thing because in essence, I don't consider him a most comforting individual. Not really at first. Sometimes he can seem like a brat, but other times he's a kid, you know? Just like we were. 
And he doesn't have all the answers. He just knows what's right. At least what's right in his heart. That's all sometimes a kid needs. He's the dream traveler. And sometimes we wish that we were the same. I wouldn't call us little heroes like he is. But sometimes the idea of going to other places in our dreams, it captures us. Not always in the best of ways, I realize. But it can be in a way that comforts us, helps prepare us for the day ahead. Reality strikes us, sometimes from the front or like a knife in the back. And it's hard to keep up. It could be overwhelming. And sometimes it seems like it'll never stop attacking you. But you can't give up. And Lenoa helped teach me that even when I was a kid. So, whenever I went to sleep and I was deprived of all my toys, my senses of comfort, what I had left was my mind, and that was more than enough. <laughs>